you own a Seat Ibiza 6L like me, I can almost guarantee at some point you've had some trouble with your cup holder. Here's a quick video showing you how I fixed my sticky cup holder that wouldn't return to where it normally seats. Okay, so um, my problem is cup holder doesn't work like at all really. It, when you retract it, it makes this horrible noise. It's full of um, like uh, iron oxide dust, rust. So it definitely needs at least a good clean out, uh, if not replacing. Um, if you go on eBay, it's like 45 quid for a brand new one of them. So I'm going to try and give it a clean and see what I can do myself. Um, to access it, uh, you need to take off this whole surrounding bit. And that's held in by bolt there, bolt there, which is simply got by just removing this kind of tray a bit with a silicon insert that just fits in there, you just pull it out, simple as. Um, for the next bit, um, you need these keys, and where these go is here and here, and you just slot them in. Either side, I think this is the right way. Uh, and I'm going to need two hands for this bit. Oh, there, I suppose. So you just want to give these a little wiggle and it will just pull right out. And then uh, you can access the same bolts either side. These are Torx bolts. Uh, I'm not sure what size, but we'll find out. I suppose for ease of access you could undo these clips uh, but since we only need to get the cup holder um, I'll leave it as it is which isn't probably recommended at all but I don't, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal so looks like it might be this one yeah so a T20 for your talks. There's one out. All right, now that's off. Okay, so I've managed to get this out. Um, some important things to know is that there is a fifth bolt uh, that you'll need to get out. I've got five bolts here, uh, and that is located. It just goes through here. Um, honestly, uh, oh, that's where it goes. It must go through here. That's where it's held in place. Um, so remember, there's a, there's a hole just here um, and you'll need to take that out otherwise it won't pull out. Uh, the easiest place to pry it I found was uh, use, using, sorry it's not in focus, using a knife, something with a flat edge. I think a knife works better than a screwdriver just because it's thinner and a uh, larger surface area. Uh, if you just get it up in here, in this kind of corner bit, and you can pry it in. Um, so yeah, I, I can, I can, I should uh, just be able to take this out with no real problems. There's a um, little bolt I can see there. I'm assuming on, yep, one on the other side, and that'll just pop right out. So I'll get to the, doing that. All right, so I have the actual cup holder out on its own now, and it's it's in this like sleeve thing here. I'll show you. It just sits in there, and this is one whole plastic piece. And to get to it, uh, you will have to pop out these um, any buttons that are occupying these. Uh, I had my airbag off, airbag off light, and 
um, rear when rear screen screen heater to pop out. But now that they're out, um, yeah, uh, okay. I've got this out, and I'm gonna go and give it a clean up and see what I can do and get rid of some of this filth that's really making it manky. Uh, I'll take this with me as well because I can see some orangeness. When it comes to opening the cup holder, you'll notice that there's six clips holding it in place. What you need to do is get a screwdriver in behind each of these and try and wiggle them free. The two halves will come apart exposing the main mechanism and the spring, which is evidently the problem in mine. As you can see, it's absolutely orange with rust. It has a little T-shaped slot at the top, which fits into the matching groove on one of the halves and then the actual spring sits inside a little recess on the moving part. So giving all the parts a quick clean, set that spring yet um, and what I found is we've got these little legs to catch it. Uh, this one snapped off, that fell off earlier when I was taking the radio out. Uh, just pinged off. Looking further into it, these little legs that I'm on about actually help guide the lower part of the cup holder back into the little tray part. I could see that there was evidently an air bubble, so this is no real fault of any users, it's simply just a manufacturing fault. An air bubble inside a plastic moulded part is obviously going to make it much weaker. And mine snapped off, there's not much I could do about that. Tried gluing it on and it was useless. And the other thing is, uh, this toothed edge uh, is just for this gear, just so it sits nice and sort of like it's nice and aligned when it's moving in and out. That's all that's for. So, yeah. After cleaning the plastic pieces, I put together a little vinegar solution and I dropped my spring in and let it sit in there for about 30 minutes and then I gave it a little jiggle and as you can see flakes of rust and stuff were coming off indicating that it's actually working. After that I needed to stretch it out and put it on something long and flat. I used a metal rule and two really strong pegs and then I used a wire brush and I just gently scraped away any remaining rust on it cause that wouldn't have been gotten um, because when the spring coils up pretty tight there'll still be rust left over in those coiled parts which you can't see so I thought it was quite important to do this it's also important to note that once I'd finished cleaning the spring and dried it off I'd give it a little douse in WD-40 just to protect it from rusting again in the future. There we go. Did that work? I don't know. I'll find out in the edit, I suppose. But there it is. It's all back together. Nice one. Fantastic. Yeah, it's not ideal, but at least it's... Um, a million times better than what it was before sound overall I consider this fix to be a success it didn't cost me anything and it's got 99% the functionality of a brand new cup holder make sure you know where to find your radio code once you put it back in this can usually be found inside your owner's booklet